loved science and math all the way through school. They were the ones that were easiest for me and came most easily. And then when I got to college, when I was looking for a college, I knew I wanted to be a storm chaser. Now let's go ahead. We're going to go in, guys. Wind and gusts for more than 40 hours. That means you take a power line. This is a perfect example. You tear at it. You tear at it. And then eventually it is going to rip. This just happened moments ago, and it's happened a couple of times. So we're going to keep edging back away from the beach. So my job as a meteorologist is to forecast the weather. I mean, that's the simple truth of it. But at this position where I'm at today, it's about communicating science. It's about introducing the world to maybe things that they learned when they were in fourth or fifth or seventh grade, but then bringing it back to the thing that impacts them every single day. It's also about making a huge dent when it comes to public safety. We know when a hurricane is coming. We can see it. Florence and Michael were within two miles, as far as the forecast went, of where it was going to hit. We don't know exact intensity until it gets a little closer, all of those things, but my job is to communicate that risk, to communicate the biggest impacts. And for those storms, they were totally different. One of them was a rainstorm, and we had to keep harping and emphasizing that this was going to be about flooding for days and days. That was Florence. Then, in Michael, it was a wind event with storm surge, and that's where we saw some of the biggest loss of life and property. Yeah, he needs to get inside because we just saw a 113 mile per hour gust in San Francisco. So they're all different. It's my job to suss it all out and share it with the world.